All right, guys, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Yo, this sounds good. What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we'll be installing our second modification on our B8S4. So what we got in this box is something special that will help this car breathe a lot better and to make that sweet, sweet, sweet sound that everybody loves with a supercharger. If you still haven't figured out what it is, let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's see. So, so, I know this is for the heat shield. More components, hoses, seals, and clamps, and zip ties. More hoses, seals. Okay, don't know what this is exactly, but we're gonna figure that out. <clears throat> and CTS Turbo Inlet. Nice. Interesting box of goodies. And that's the secondary intake air filter. Yes. And then we have the big boy. All right. Let's put this sucker on. So to begin, we got to get rid of this old intake. So I got to get this cover off. Pretty much take all this off, um, loosen the clamps from the throttle body, and also right down here on the other side, move the hoses aside, everything, take it apart. <laughs> So we finally got it off. Now we're gonna in install a new intake. Right before I do that, I, I took a glance around a little bit just to see if anything is abnormal. But can't complain, everything is on point. Hoses, nothing leaking. Just a random leaf. All right, let's get the sucker on. So the first thing I did, I installed a secondary intake. So for the secondary intake, I pretty much uh, installed this bracket onto the, the whole inlet hose, and then I just tighten it up. And pretty much before you able to install this on the install the bracket back on the on the car, there's gonna be the old one. The old one looks like this, and pretty much is just get that off with a. I think it is a T30. Get off like a take take it off with a T30 and then install this bracket with the same bolt or T30 um, Torx. Tighten that sucker in. Install this in. I use a flathead to tighten it up, and that's it. 
It's firm, sturdy, ain't going anywhere. And it's secure in the bottom. Let's move on to the next. So next thing I'm, what I'm doing right now is installing this heat shield. So there's two piece. This two is a two piece heat shield and they have uh, bolts and, well not really, yeah. Allen bolts and nuts in the back that's supposed to secure these two. Usually you will find them in a bag like this. And it should be like these right here. So these will be in the back. This will be in the front. So all you have to do, put this sucker in here. And then put this bolt behind it and tighten it up. I use the Allen. Uh, don't know don't know the size I kind of just fished through my toolbox and I just found the right size I got lucky but I also used a seven socket to, um, to hold the back while I'm tying it so yep that's it the next thing that I did I removed the rubber bushing from under the old uh, intake assembly to this new heat shield so just remove this piece right here and just install them right here that's it easy peasy so after I put I put the bushing in the bottom, I pretty much uh, installed all the seals. To be honest with you, um, couldn't find any instructions in the box, and there's not really much videos on installation on these because I was looking at it just to make sure I got it right. So I just kind of spent my time, went through it, and figured it out. This is the closest I could get. It looks right because I know these seals have a purpose. So I didn't want to skip on them. We're going to inst uh, pretty much install this back on the crash bar. So these, there's two inlets right here. So all I had to do is fit them in. Like so. That's it. That's in. Now let's move on to the next one. Right before we do our first startup with this new intake, just want to go through it with you guys one last time just to make sure you guys know what it was installed. Like I said, secondary intake, main intake, I snug these to keep this hose from touching the, the, the engine itself. There is one of these suckers right here. Once you install into that hole, you just push it into that hole, use a zip tie and lock that sucker up and it's secured. So it will keep it keep it keep it away from from touching that. Obviously, the tube, 
tighten these two hoses, I mean, tighten these clamps for the hose. And also back here, a zip tie, the extension piece. And that's it, man. So it's pretty straightforward. It took a little time because like I said, no instructions, but uh, pretty much that's it. Heat shield, that's probably the only one that kind of took me the longest because I had to make sure that all these um, rubber seals are installed in the right places because they are there for a huge reason which to keep the heat away from it from this um intake but got it done now let's go ahead and do our first startup hear it on the videos but when you're in person it sounds amazing it doesn't even sound like it's in front of you it sounds like it's all around you yo that's crazy yo i had a great time today i hope you guys had a great time too thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and like always have a great day stay safe take care of yourself and your family peace Coming around